Yeah. Oh yeah, it was a huge issue, but you know, of course I wanted to finish school, but when you're a teenage mom, you have to provide. And that I was a single mom, it was just me. My mom was a single mom, so I didn't look at school as being an option. I thought providing was more important than education at that time, which is so not the case. After I dropped out, I wished over and over again I should have stayed because education is more important than a subway paycheck. But at the time, I didn't know any better. I was only 18, so I thought it was more important to provide than to get my education. So your first year of high school, your freshman year, was that, was that a good year for you? No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, I started at Booger T. I uh, started two days late due to uh, living situations. Uh, didn't have any back to school clothes, shoes, electricity off. It was hard. So. So, uh, were you, you know, the things that you needed, like, Am I able now to get it for my kids? Like when you were in high school, were you able to get those? Well, yeah. When I had my second child, that's when I dropped out for good. And I didn't go back to last year. And that's when I stopped working. And by working for the little five ninety five or however much I was getting at the time, it helped me provide for them to get them the basic needs, the essentials. But of course it wasn't the glorious life that you really want for your kid, but we survived. So, in a way, yeah. So, after, so you said you went to Subway? <coughs> yeah, Subway, then I went to Hardee's, so, yeah. So Fast food. Multiple jobs. Yeah. So that really interfered with, you know, you being able to get your education? And, you know. Well, education was no longer a factor. It was off the table, you know. Of course, in the back of my head, I wanted my education. Here I was working with younger kids that, we're still in high school and you know, I wanted that to be me, but I had already had one child and I was pregnant with the second one. So here I am at fast food. I felt like I was stuck. I felt like this is what I had to do because I had to provide. When you're in that situation, going to school is not gonna provide pampers and shelter and you know, things like that. And then I didn't open up to counselors or teacher. I didn't tell nobody anything. So did you have any support? you have any friendly support? Anybody motivating you to, you know, anybody help you? Motivation? No. I'm the youngest of four. My mom was there, but she wasn't really there. I couldn't go to her and talk to her. Mom pregnant. She didn't find out I was pregnant with my second child until I was five months. I was embarrassed. I was ashamed. Nobody. I was all alone. I was all alone. I probably had more support than I thought I had, but I didn't really reach out. I kept everything bottled in for such a long time. Just ashamed, I guess. Just nobody wants to be a teen mom. Two kids at 19. No high school education. <laughs> so, uh, you, you graduated from high school? Eventually. So, uh, how, did, how did that feel? How did that make you feel? Oh, it felt amazing. It was amazing. Of course, it wasn't the normal ceremony, but it was a ceremony for me. I walked across the stage. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with Mr. Holmes at Granby. He just made me feel wonderful. He just, oh, he was amazing. It was amazing. So you, you said you, weren't, you didn't want to open up to counselors or teachers. You didn't want to go to them about anything that you were going through. No, because I didn't feel like I could. If anything, I didn't want to get my parents in trouble, and I just didn't feel like it was an option. I just didn't feel like it was an option. I didn't see any, you know, I didn't get any messages, see any notes around school, hey, you know, this going on, 
you know, come talk to this person or that person. I just didn't know what to do. I just felt like I was in a lose-lose situation all by myself. And I felt like I was dealing with it by myself and I dealt with it by dropping out of school. So when you were, when you were there, what do you think the counselors were there for? Do you what did I think they were there for? Like the counselors, did you think they were there to? Give your classes, try to, you know, put you where you need to be academic wise. That's it. That's all I thought, you know. So you didn't feel like they were really there to help? Just there to Not with situations I was dealing with, you know. No, just not at all. So how did not having a high school diploma? Oh, it sucked. It sucked from, I think I dropped out officially in 05. So from 05, I started working, yeah, from 05 to last year when I got my high school diploma, endless jobs, minimum wage, not too many benefits, just feeling like crap, dealing with people that didn't have their high school diploma either, doing all negativity because it was no positive people around. Like, when you don't have your high school diploma and you're classified as a dropout, most likely you're gonna come around those people that probably dropped out just like you. You're gonna be at those endless jobs and most likely who you're working with dropped out too. So for me, it, it sucked a lot. I felt less of a citizen without my high school diploma because there was nothing I could really do. I felt college was not an issue to me. College, I never thought about, you know, I never seen it in my future. I never seen it in my future. I knew I was capable of going to college. I knew I was capable of getting my high school diploma, but I dropped out due to circumstances that I couldn't really control in a sense. I could have, but my upbringing wasn't PG key. So I really just taught myself and you learn from your mistakes and I did. So eventually I went back, you know, and I graduated as you know, and I do see college now. You know, not only for me, but for my, my sons, you know. So, have you yet, have you been able to feel the impact of the high school diploma on your life? Have you been? Not really. Just, I mean, seeing it, seeing the diploma and seeing my plaque of inspiration, it makes me feel good. I haven't really made those steps as far as enrolling in college due to my health situation. But, uh, in a sense, it does feel good because I'm the youngest of four and I'm the first to obtain a high school diploma and that helps me pass it on. I show them I did, hey, you can go back and do it too. It don't matter about age or anything. With me, a health condition, two kids, you know, if I could do it, you could do it. So in a sense it does, it makes me feel wonderful and yeah. So in the future, how do you think it will be a <coughs> Yeah, well, you know that slot where it say high school diploma, I can put down that I have it. I can put down that I have a high school diploma and it'll get me far. You know, they don't just look at me as another person. They see that I do have the high school diploma, that I can do what the next person can do. I can do what you do, you know. So yeah, I feel like it can take me beyond my wildest dreams. High school diploma, I just, it feels good. It, it really does. that are in school now, you know, like, you know how you're talking about the counselors, do you, do you think that the counselors now should reach more out more to the students that are in some of the situations that they're in? Yeah, most definitely. Like, let them know that you're there. Like I told you, I didn't know. I knew they was there just for, like, classes, but I didn't know they was there to just help. Like, I'm sure no individual want to drop out of school and not get their education. It has to be something going on. Yeah, you might have some kids that just probably just don't want to go to school, but nine times out of ten, it's circumstances in the household. It has to be. So, yeah, I feel like you see a student hasn't been in class three or four days, reach out. Don't just give a call because the kid could probably see the, the phone they don't answer, you know, or delete the voicemail. Have a home visit. See what's going on. Reach out. 
and they may just, if you just change one student life, you know. I mean, it starts with the teacher. The teacher sees signs in the classroom. Student not showing up constantly, you know, reach out. Like I said before about the counselors too. I mean, the counselors are part of the school. Then the counselors should go to the superior who's higher than them and, you know, contact, contact. By phone, home visits. See what's going on, talk to the student. Maybe they don't have nobody at home they can talk to. Sit down, talk to them, make them feel like they're somebody. Put your hands around them, you know. Just talk, communication, I believe it's key. Instead of just seeing a student going for three to four days and eventually they're just gone because they feel like nobody care. Nobody care, nobody's telling them, hey, what are you doing? What's going on? I haven't seen you. Show them that you care. I'm gonna ask you something. I was just saying, you know, different people, different households, everybody is different. Everybody is different. Uh, you can see signs in a student. You see signs. I guess I was just saying, like I say, you see signs, and I just say communication. Like you don't know what someone is going through unless you communicate with them, unless you talk with them, ask them questions, see what's going on. Different people, different situations. Oh, I see my future as bright as a star. I want to go to school for psychology, mainly to help in you know, social sciences, to help with young kids and young teens, to mentor, to counsel, you know. Like I say, they just need someone to talk to. Let them know, hey, I'm, I'm there for you. That's what I see myself doing. Take one, teach one. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I will say, if you want to drop out, that is such the wrong thing to do. That is, no matter what's going on, you do not want to drop out. You want to get that education because education is key. You don't have the education, it, you basically can't do nothing in life. Education, oh my God, is so powerful. And if you are thinking about dropping out, go to your local counselor or just talk to someone, talk to your teacher, talk to your principal. Reach out for help because there is help. You know, I didn't know there was help there, but there is help. Uh, I just advise to stay in school, stay in school, do the right thing, stay young. You know, you have the whole world ahead of you, you have your whole life ahead of you. You need the education to get through it. Without the education, life is just, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. Welcome.